ninth grade student from W.T. Woodson High School in Fairfax County, Virginia, named Hemin Bekele, received the title of America's Top Young Scientist and won the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. As a reward, he was given $25,000. Hemin won this competition by creating a special soap designed to treat skin cancer. He spent eight months working on this. The soap is very unique because it contains a substance that fights cancer, along with ingredients typically found in soap and various medicines to treat different kinds of skin cancer. The soap has a dark white color and a rough texture that can be used to exfoliate the skin. The key ingredient in the soap is called imidazoquinolone. It's a man-made substance that is not found in nature. It changes how the immune systems in our bodies work. It attaches to specific receptors on immune cells called dendritic cells, known as toll-like receptors 7 and 8. Toll-like receptors, TLRs, they're part of our immune system. And TLR7 and TLR8 are specific types of receptors, and they play a crucial role in our body's defense against infections. TLR7 and TLR8 are guards with specific duties. They're primarily responsible for detecting those types of genetic materials from viruses. They recognize something called single-stranded RNA, which is a genetic material found in viruses. When TLR7 and TLR8 detect this RNA, they trigger an immune response to fight off the viral infection. So in simple terms, TLR7 and TLR8 are like security systems in our body that help us identify and respond to viruses by recognizing their genetic material. Imidazoquinolone imitates what would naturally happen inside our bodies when they encounter viruses, single-stranded RNA. This substance is used in antiviral and anti-allergic creams, treatments for skin conditions like basal cell carcinoma and genital warts, and it even plays a role in making influenza vaccines for people. Compared to the usual treatments for skin cancer, which could cost tens of thousands of dollars and take a year or two, Haman soap, it only cost $8.50 to make. He's in the process of getting a provisional patent for this project, and if it's approved, he can then focus on getting the soap out to people and getting it certified by the FDA. These are Interesting Things with J.C.